Hi there. Now I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on using the Gmail app on your mobile device. So a few great things about the Gmail app, similar to other email applications, but specifically within the Gmail app, is if I go to my menu icon over here, I'll just tap this. It's really, really easy. One, if I have any other Gmail accounts on my device, I can easily just tap them. I'll sh they'll show up over here so I can switch back and forth between them. But what I can also do to organize my emails a little bit more easily is if I scroll down the left side of this app, so I have the ability to set up labels for myself. So where labels are similar to email folders, I can use email labels, excuse me, to keep track of important emails from specific clients pertaining to specific listings, let's say to-do items, for example, and more. So if I wanted to keep track of, let's say, emails from a specific client, you know, we've had a lot of communication or there's been a lot of purchases, a lot of interaction, I wanna track that all in one place. I'll just type the name of that label, maybe it's the name of that client, I'll hit done. And I see nothing's in here just yet, but if I tap the menu icon, I see all the other labels which I have set up. So I see all of those here. And you'll see you can do this online as well. If you go to mail.google.com and sign into your Google account, you can create these online as well. So let me go into client B here, and nothing's in here just yet. So if I wanted to put emails into this label, I can scroll through my inbox, for example. I'll just tap the G, the icon next to this email, and I'll see a few buttons up here. So if I click this little, these three dots here, and I go to move to, I can move it into a specific label. What I can also do is I see this little three dots and I see change labels. In Gmail, what's actually really neat, is I have the ability to put this email in multiple labels. So if this email not only pertains to a specific client, it also pertains to a specific listing that's set up. I can actually add that email to both of those labels and it's going to show up in both places. So if I have it show up here, I see it shows up in client A. And it's also gonna show up, if I scroll down, in listing B on that screen. So it shows up in both places, so I don't have to make a copy of it or do anything. To get it to show up in both places, it allows me to find it a little bit more easily. What I can also do with these labels really easily is if I go to this menu icon and I go into a specific label, let's say you're having a lot of interaction with a single client or pertaining to a specific listing, and you want those emails to automatically go into a specific label you have set up, it's really easy to set up what's called a filter for those emails. So to set up a filter, for let's say the specific label. Let's say specific emails from a specific client go into client B, this label here. I'll click on this little gear icon. It says automatically add future messages into this label. So I'll click add here. And let's say here, I want to add all emails from let's say Amy into this label here. I can do that. Any emails that Amy sends going forward, they're automatically going to go into the specific label. And it doesn't have to be just emails from Amy. Let's say, for example, instead of emails from Amy, if I tap from here, it's, let's say, emails containing a specific subject line, people replying to a specific listing, for example. I can do that. Or let's say it includes certain criteria. So anyone who emails in with a specific listing name, with a client name, for example, or let's say it's two, any emails that I send to someone specific will automatically go into this label going forward. So filters in Gmail, again, to set one up, just tap the label for which you want a filter to be applied to, click this little settings icon, and you can set up a filter right there. One really nice thing about Gmail as well, it makes it really easy to find your emails. So anything that you wanna mark as important, come back to later, just mark a star next to it. You'll be able to come back to it later. If you go to your little menu icon, you'll see the start section. You'll be able to get to that a little bit more easily. For anything you're looking to delete or just remove from your mailbox, just tap 
that message, you'll see this little trash can icon up here. And for anything else which you can't seem to find really easily, you'll see this little search icon here at the top. So it's actually really great about search is first, let me go ahead and tap that search again. I'll tap this little search icon. What's really great about search is first, you have the ability to use your microphone here. It's first going to ask you if you if your iPad can ask, access it. That's going to allow you to voice search for specific emails really, really easily without having to type anything in. So you can just say from, for example, really easily. But what I can also do is use keywords like from, for example, and a colon. I can use keywords like, for example, subject, label, or two to narrow down exactly what I'm looking for. And if I complete that a little bit further, if I say from Amy at CaldwellHomes.com, for example, or to Zach at CaldwellHomes.com or Zach at Client.com, those emails will specifically be returned to me. You'll be able to narrow down exactly what you're looking for using that search a little bit further. And to compose emails down here, I see this little pencil icon. You'll see that as you send emails to people, you can just type out their name. It'll autocomplete really, really easily for you. So that there, that gives you some tips and tricks for using Gmail on your iPad. Please continue watching our series of other G Suite videos to learn more about taking advantage of Caldwell G Suite.